Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Scorp Cat Tarot. This reading is going to be for Gemini for the week of March 29th through April 5th. So let's see what we got going on, Gemini. What's up, Nicole? Meow. Oh, Seven of Swords, okay. That's a sneaky mofo. <laughs> Guys, up to no good. So, could be somebody around you that has their eyes on you. Perhaps not with your best interest at heart. That's uh, betrayal, backstabbing, you know. The lovers. Okay, that's like soulmate energy. That's... True love, marriage, you know, because they're standing at the altar exchanging cups. Okay, that is the Knight of Swords. So Swords of Communication also um, represent the air signs. So um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you could have somebody like that coming towards you. Could be this relationship headed your way or that you're in now. Um, but you see, nothing's holding this guy back. He's coming in charging. It could be a little bit of reckless energy as well. So, be mindful of that. And there is the three of wands thinking about moving. Um, if you see, he's looking out over the ocean. He's considering moving. Could be literally or metaphorically. Could be moving away from a situation, from a person. Or it could be relocating. <laughs> and there's the Ten of Swords. That's the end of a relationship, okay? There's usually no coming back from the Ten of Swords. Ten is the end. So you could be moving away from a relationship that was not going well, that was not working out for you, that was not, maybe somebody betrayed you with that seven of swords there. Maybe somebody was reckless with their thoughts and their actions and you decided to end it. You know, this guy's like, even if he gets up, he's going to be full of holes. He's Swiss cheese. You see the buzzards? Look at that. Buzzards are coming for homeboy. <laughs> Oh, but look at there. There's the Ten of Cups. So, Gemini, possibly ending the old to bring in the new, okay? Maybe you had somebody that you were dealing with that was just not trustworthy, not honest, and you decided to move away from them. And now something else is coming towards you. Four of Swords. Okay, so that's taking a little time out. That's like, hey, I need to put the brakes on. I need to just, you know, go in a little bit, think about what I want, think about my thoughts, my actions. So it's kind of like um, introspection. So you could be just kind of um, putting a pause on everything. Especially if you just ended a relationship. Nine of Swords, so something's stressing you out, causing you a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights. Maybe you're wondering if you did the right thing. There's the Ace of Swords. That could be wanting to communicate something to somebody because the Swords are communication. I could also be wanting to cut something out. I feel like with the Nine of Swords, they're the sleepless nights that you know that there's something that you need to take care of. It's unresolved and it's bothering you and it's kind of nagging at you and causing you a lot of anxiety. 
There's the Queen of Pentacles, okay? The Queen of Pentacles is kind of um, solid, stable, no nonsense, very mature, reserved, um, a little self-protective. So, you know, could be in self-protective mode after what you've just been through. And there's the Two of Pentacles. Okay, it could be juggling. You could have two different paths you could take, two different people that you're looking at. Um, could be trying to... What am I looking for? Trying to um, handle everything on your plate right now. Could have a lot going on. That could be what's stressing you out. You need to cut something out. This is a new beginning, okay? Um, if this is the relationship, then this is going to be solid and stable for you. Something good coming your way, okay? If it's finances or money, that's good as well. But I feel like you were maybe hooked up with somebody who wasn't completely honest with that Seven of Swords there. A little, um, sword of money for, hold on. Dishonest, um, deceptive, that's the word, deceptive. And maybe you thought you had a partnership with this person, but they were reckless in their thoughts and their actions, and you decided to end it and distance yourself. And, you know, maybe somebody new coming towards you. But I think you need to cut that person out completely, and I don't know if you've done that from what I'm seeing here. So let's see what the animal oracle cards have to say, what our final takeaway message is for this reading. Turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. Okay. So I think that ties in with the taking some self-reflection, self-isolation time. Slow and steady wins the race. Just take your time. Take care of what you need to take care of. Tie up the loose ends. Cut out the things that are not serving you. You know, get yourself in a good place. All right, Gemini, that's what I got for you for this week. I hope that resonated for you, and I will see you next time. Take care.